my exhibition is about um, a cry-based um, diagnostic tool for birth asphyxia. So what it uses, the, it uses the um, unique um, frequency patterns of the cry of babies that have birth asphyxia to make this diagnosis. And this is only possible through using um, artificial intelligence to make such diagnosis. And um, birth asphyxia is a condition which is um, caused by low oxygen tension um, in the brain and it causes um, brain damage and can lead to permanent um, disability and also death. Um, it's uh, estimated globally to, um, for, for us to have about um, 1.2 million children um, who die as a result of um, birth asphyxia and um, the cost of that is about $61 billion as a result of death and disability um, from this condition. Um, so why it's very, very important and why we're also passionate about this project is um, as it regards um, um, the sustainable development goals, um, if we are to achieve um, a reduction of neonatal mortality, of which um, beta asphyxia is one of the top three causes of neonatal and children mortality, it would be good to um, invest in artificial intelligence to bring about um, um, a reduction or early detection and prevention of such a condition to achieve um, one of the sustainable development goals. My experience of the event has been um, wonderful. Um, it's important to get to know that a lot of people are working on um, artificial intelligence and um, it's all to be used for good. And that's why the conference is called um, Artificial Intelligence um, for Good. And um, also, apart from, I mean, when we've got, um, we all intend to do good, sometimes we understand that there could be unintended consequences. And um, such a meeting is very important for people to discuss to, into what are the ethics, what are the regulations, what are the challenges, and um, what really the future holds for um, artificial intelligence.